Welcome back to Psychology 650. The purpose of this particular video is to take a look at the learning team paper and to research into causality summary paper. For this particular uh, video, we're going to take a look at the assignment process, where to post your paper, the objectives of the paper, and I'm going to provide you an example of how this paper should look utilizing APA format. And we'll summarize with critical points. So this assignment requires that you prepare a 150 to 200 word summary of the disorder that your learning team chooses for the symptoms and causes assignment. Make sure you read the symptoms and causes assignments uh, description in the syllabus and then post through the assignment link. The objectives of this paper are as follows. The first objective is indicate the video that your team will use from the following Films on Demand database in the University of Library. Okay, there's the URL for where to go to find the list of films. The suggested level one heading for this particular objective is selected video for this assignment. Bold, upper and lower case letters without a period. And please make sure that you include an APA formatted in-text reference. The next objective reads, list the symptoms of the disorder using one of the diagnostic symptoms, either DSM-4, DSM-5, or the ICD-10. Here's a level one, suggested level one heading. The symptoms of major depressive disorder, for example, according to DSM-4, for example. So you could be looking at the symptoms of dysthymic disorder according to ICD-10. So don't include the words, for example, in your headings for your particular assignment. This is just here for your, for your reference. And then include an APA formatted in-text reference for this particular objective. The last objective for this particular assignment is to list the causes of the disorder using either the biopsychosocial, diathesis stress, or any other theoretical model that you choose. Here's a suggested level one heading. The causes of depression according to the biopsychosocial model. Or I could have the causes of dysthymia according to ICD-10. Okay? Include a formatted, APA formatted in-text reference. So this, this assignment it might be a little bit different for you. It's, it's a short assignment. It's limited in, in perspective. It's in preparation for a major learning team paper. So what I want to do is I want to provide you the way that this would look if it were being presented for this class. So you'll notice at the top we have the, the heading, Learning Team Research in the Causality Summary. Bolded, upper and lower case letters, no period. And then list the names of the, of the learning team members. Simply list them. Okay? Then the next heading is Selected Video for this Assignment. This learning team selected the video titled The Adult Brain to Think by Feeling and it's done by Films Media Group and the year was 2001. Okay, this just happens to be one of the very uh, various uh, films that are available. I just use it as an example. So I got this from the Films on Demand database in the University Library for this assignment. That's all it would go under there. I'm just telling you what video that I selected and I'm using an appropriately documented APA reference. The next bullet, or, or heading rather, would be the symptoms of major depressive disorder according to DSM-4-TR. And again, it could be I'm looking at the symptoms of dysthymia and I'm using DSM-5. So again, this is an example based on your options for this particular objective. So here's how it would read. According to the fourth edition, treatment revision of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, by the American Psychological Association in the year 2000, the symptoms of major depressive disorder involve at least five of the following over the course of the next two weeks. And here, uh, all I'm doing is listing bullet points as they are listed in DSM-4 treatment revision of the symptoms for major depressive disorder. You'll notice that I've started off with quotation marks. That's telling you that I'm using this verbatim from the manual. I get down to the next slide and I continue with the symptoms as listed in the manual and I conclude 
with an end quotation. Okay? The next particular heading is the causes of depression according to the biopsychosocial model. Okay, here I have according to MAID, Stats, Reese, and Dombeck in 2007, the biopsychosocial causes of depression involve the interaction of the following. And again, I'm just going to simply list them. Biological determinants, psychological, and social determinants. You notice that I have not used quotation marks because I've paraphrased this material. In other words, I put it in my own words. So I don't have to use quotation marks if I put it in my own words. I just have to make sure that I have a reference. Which gets us to the references page. You have to have a references page for this assignment. And so at the top of, of a new page, you write references. This is not bolded, but it is centered on the page. Two spaces down. My first citation was from the American Psychiatric Association. Okay, you'll notice that these are in alphabetical order. So it's the American Psychiatric Association, period, parentheses, 2000, the year that it was published, in parentheses, period. Then I go into the title, Desk Reference to the Diagnostic Criteria from DSM-4-TR. You'll notice this is italicized, and it's all lowercase except for the first letter of the first word, and DSM-4-TR is also capitalized. The other thing to realize is that after the first line, every subsequent line is indented five to seven spaces. All right, so the next particular uh, APA reference is to the Films Media Group, period, in the year 2001, and then the title, The Adult Brain, colon, To Think by Feeling. Okay, this title is italicized. The first letter of the first word is capitalized, as well as the first word of the first letter of the first word after uh, a colon. Okay, and then retrieve from it and simply list out the complete URL. Make sure you list the total URL. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to see if I can go to it. The same thing that anybody reading your paper would do if they wanted additional information. The last reference is the main comma r period comma. Stats, Reese, comma, N, period, comma, and then the ampersand. Not the word and, but an ampersand, Dombeck, comma, M, period. You'll also notice that there's no PhD, MD, any specific title that's referenced in here. It's just last name and then initials. And then the year of publication, in parentheses, 2007. September 9. Notice that September is spelled completely out. It's not SEP or SEPT. Okay? Then we go into the title, which is italicized with the first letter of the first word capitalized. Current understandings of major depression, colon, capitalized immediately right after that the first word, biopsychosocial model, and then retrieve from. As simple as that. And that's the way a references page would look. Again, if you have questions about APA format, there's a specific APA support thread in the main forum. Please ask your questions. You can give me an example of what you believe a reference would look like, and I'll show you whether or not it's correct. I'll correct it for you, and I'll give you some hints on, on how to uh, complete that particular reference. Then lastly, critical points, just like with any other paper or presentation. Make sure you address each objective, use headings, use APA format to denote in-text citations and into work references. And please watch your spelling, grammar, and punctuation. So then, for this assignment, we looked at the process for completing the assignment, where to post it. We looked at some of the objectives and critical points. The next video covers the diathesis stress model on anxiety and panic. Thank you.